All right, what is going on my dudes? So we're back here today with the rank up and gameplay video for champion of a class that I haven't ranked up for a very, very long time. If you check out the top of my tech roster, it's honestly pretty thin. If you check out the top of my uh, five star tech roster, it's honestly very thin. The last rank five tech champion that I did, I believe was Darkhawk or Sentinel. And both of those were right around the time of 6.4. Um, so we're well past Act 7 now. So it's been months and months and months since I've done a tech rank up. And I have so many tech T4CC and overflow I still do. And I had to choose a champion to bring up. And ultimately, it was a pretty simple decision. On Cyber Weekend, I pulled Guillotine 2099 out of the first Nexus Crystal that I opened, and I was pretty stoked to do so, man. So in the past, I've been very critical of this champion. She hasn't always been my favorite robot in the game. She hasn't always been my favorite tech champion in the game. However, it's very almost, I want to say, impossible to deny the impact that she has on the game when it comes to power control, damage, and sustainability, man. Also immunities as well. So she's a very suicide-friendly champion. She has a lot of use uses nothing immediately useful for me i would say however in the future i definitely see her having her spot in the game i would consider bringing her to rank three i do believe that she is the third best uh tech champion in the game ghost warlock guillotine in my personal opinion at least i don't have a six star warlock but i have a maxed out five star um so i think we're good with that at the moment regardless i think if i had both warlock and guillotine i would go with guillotine because I don't even have her as a 5 star, um, but I do wish she was duped before I would take her to rank 3, so that is something I'll have to think about um, as we go along, but we have a lot of gameplay already recorded, some of it was recorded live on YouTube on Christmas Day, we did a Christmas stream, so we're going to have some live footage and we're also going to have some pre-recorded bosses, so I think we're going to go with some of the pre-recorded footage first that I'm going to commentate over and then we're going to switch over to some of the live footage as well, and with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it then, shall we? All right, so first things first, man, to really test out her damage, we need a bigger health pool than Realm of Legends. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip Winter Soldier here, man. We're gonna go into Labyrinth. We already got through Red, uh, Red Hulk first. We used Nick Fury just to nuke him right down because we don't wanna deal with him and his physical resistance and all that BS, all right? So we're going right for Old Man Logan. Now, the thing with Guillotine, um, you know, she's not necessarily a newer champion anymore, so you probably already know how she works, but maybe you don't, man. So we'll talk about it. We'll definitely talk about it for sure. Um, the way that Guillotine works is um, if you end the fight with a special three, all right, um, you're going to go into the next fight with a 100 combo, and that's when a lot of your attack benefits really, really start to become noticeable, man. So Guillotine has three possible pre-fights that you can choose. One of them is every 20th hit on your combo will be guaranteed critical if you don't select that you will have zero crits the entire fight every time you would crit you'll put a degen on the opponent another one that i really personally use most of the time is that every medium attack has a chance to life steal the opponent and then another one everyone has a chance to power burn the opponent so those are very very useful and if you use two out of the three pre-fights you won't have the armor up buff and um also depending on how many pre-fights that you used each one takes away one persistent charge, and when you get to it at the end of the fight, or you know when you're nearing the end of your life, when you drop below 15% health, you're gonna get a pretty beefy regeneration. If you have two of the persistent charges, you're gonna pop up to about 50% health. If you have one, it'll pop up to about 30% health. If you have zero charges, you use two pre-fights, well, you're not even gonna get a regeneration buff, all right? So the special one, it power drains the opponent. We're gonna look at that later. If you hit it into the block, it power drains double um the special two puts on a nice heal reversal which is really really nice especially in this fight you'll notice that the pretty minor regeneration on old man logan in this fight is just consistently reversed man so that's definitely very very nice and the special three if they're below five percent health automatically kills them unfortunately stuff like rage and labyrinth of legends and abyss of legends damage caps could get around that but as you can see man i really really like the lifesteal on the mediums because we are running the suicide masteries here and as you can see 
We're taking recoil damage, but we're jumping right back up to a full yellow bar of health very, very, very quickly. One combo is yielding about 2% health back. That is really, really nice, man. And obviously she's poison immune, so we don't have to worry about the suicide masteries, kind of nerfing our regeneration capabilities a tiny bit there. So that's definitely very, very nice to see, man. And as you can see, uh, the combo meter says 245 hits right now, but we're really only 145 hits in, and that damage is really starting to get up there, man. Like, it just keeps getting higher and higher and higher, and it finally cop caps out at 600 damage. So, um, I believe Metal Sonic Dude brought his to rank 3 and did a big old Labyrinth video. And finally, he got Guillotine um, up against Maestro and reached the 600 hit cap. And I believe he said something along the lines of 40k per tick is how much the D-Gen does at max damage. I believe I could it could be like 47, something like that. But it was an absolutely absurd number. Absolutely absurd, man. But here we are about three minutes into this fight. And Guillotine 2099 is literally nuking down Labyrinth opponents in less than three minutes or so, about three minutes. Here I purposely got hit so we could end the fight with a special one. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is her Digicloak. So if you get hit, there's a good chance for her to go invisible and protect your combo if you have the combo protectors or whatever they're called, combo shield built up that she gets with the heavy attack. So I feel like we explained how she worked here, and I feel like we did a pretty decent job doing so. So up next we have a boss fight that lately I've been giving a lot more attention to. So let's jump over to that. All right, and up next, we're jumping back to 6.1. 6.1.1, actually. And we have a boss that's very much so overlooked nowadays when it comes to difficulty. And this is the No Retreat Sabretooth boss. And I found Guillotine to be so good for this boss, man. Um, I did this fight with Nick Fury. I did this fight with Corvus, with Ghost. And it really wasn't a walk in the park with any of those champions. I also believe I did it with uh, Archangel, and it was... Well, it was, it was a lot easier with Archangel, but I mean, is that really a fair comparison? I mean, any non-double immune matchup is, is probably going to be easier with Archangel. But point is, man, uh, we're, we're, we're 10 hits into this fight, and this Sabretooth is pretty much already down to just about 80% health. But anyway, Guillotine is so good for this fight for so many reasons. First of all, she's able to completely shut off the regeneration that's such a big factor with this guy. Another thing is her lifesteal, man. The lifesteal is so good because whether it's no retreat or block damage, you are going to be taking some passive damage in this fight. It's very hard to get around it, all right? So the lifesteal is going to help keep us topped up, you know, when we can get off a heavy attack for some of that, what do you call it, for some of the, um, the combo shield, that'll be nice, but it's also not entirely necessary, because as you can see here, we're also getting a nice little power drain as well, so we don't have to worry about the special two too much. We're just really trying to nuke this guy down with that passive degen. The oscillate is definitely very, very annoying, but as you can see, man, Guillotine is doing such a great job mitigating the damage back from Sabretooth and also just nuking this guy down, man. So keep in mind, if we drop below 15% health, we're gonna get a nice beefy regeneration as well. So that's definitely very nice to have. And here it comes, man. So let's check out that regeneration. It'll bring us right up to about 33% health, but this special two is just about gonna kill him. So let's go ahead and just end that fight, man. So that was a pretty quick and speedy fight, man. That was about 60, 70 seconds or so, give or take. And that definitely wasn't how long it took with Corvus, Ghost, or Nick Fury, man. So really, really, really awesome stuff. Now, we're going to jump over to some live footage as well. We recorded this stuff on um, uh, Christmas Day. We were just hanging out. We had a little chill stream, getting some footage together for the video. So let's jump over to that right now, man. So we're going to go over to that um, lane where we need to focus on her power drain. Because I feel like this is a bit of utility that she has that I don't see too many people um talking about with her special one power dream so let's definitely check into that all right um so right off the bat we got some power gain from having warlock on the team which is nice go for the special one and it did power drain him so that's definitely nice i'm gonna see if we can get through this fight we not we may not be able to get through this fight actually just because of the increased power gain I think we might be able to if we play it very, very slow here. 
Um, are you playing other games? <laughs> Occasionally, man, but nothing like as consistent as this. But yeah, so this is um, definitely a bit of a wonky play style for Gilly. Um, I'm doing light attacks to give him as little power as possible in the beginning. Because I want to make sure I get back up uh, to one bar of power so I could drain his power. And it's working. I'd say there are probably better options for this path, but this is more so about showcasing her decent power control and the more we get into it, you know, the stronger she gets. But um, basically, you do parry, light, 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 parry, light, 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 and yeah. Hold on, we got a super chat there. I will read that in one second, buddy. Medium, light, 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 medium. It's a special one. It's a pretty nice play style here, actually, man. Um, it would probably be even a little more effective if I wasn't running the Suicide Masteries at this point, just because of the recoil damage. We've probably thrown nine or 10 special ones now. But point is, this Warlock was a pretty tough fight. Pretty tough. Um, uh, you know, when I was going through 6.4. So that was pretty cool. That was definitely pretty cool. Now, because of the power gain, we don't get to end the um, fight with a special three. But um, yeah, we can go into this next fight and pretty much do the same thing. With Night Parlor, it'll be a little tougher because he's going to evade and everything. But um, that's some pretty decent power control for sure. All right, man. So we're back here in 6.3.1. I'm going to start off with this invisible woman. And um, this is uh, the hardest thing about this lane, pretty much, is the biohazard. And um, the good thing about being a robot is that we're immune to bleed and poison. And there's also clapback. Um, and we're not going to be applying any clapback debuffs. So Hunter saying... <laughs> I've had five star Quake since 2008, um, and she's been ranked two since 2008. Um, but, you know, you can't deny the fact that she's a useful champion, man. She's a really useful champion. And if you enjoy playing her, then dude, rank up your Quake. That's a no brainer. All right, so um, we got Gilly all built up now. We're gonna go for the lifesteal because I do like having 100% um, health. You know, Hunter saying, I have Ghost at 565. Um, hers is tolerable enough, but you don't like playing Ghost? Oh, dude, I cannot relate. I adore playing Ghost. I, people, you know, comment on my war vids, they're like, don't you get tired of using Ghost? And I'm like, nope, love her. Just love using Ghost, man. I love her animations. Um, she's so powerful. There's so many things she can do. Awesome. Um, Ghost, Corvus, Omega, Doom, Nick Fury, Torch. I love all those <laughs> overpowered champs. <laughs> Man, you know, every time I say that list of like my favorite champions and I include Torch, I get a little sad because he's the last six star um, of like my most used favorite champions in the game that I really want to get up to rank three. And he was in the featured crystal, the last featured crystal. And I went for it a couple times, not enough times, to be honest. I should have went for it more. But, you know, I'm very, very happy with my six star roster, aside from not having Torch, though, by the way. So I don't, I don't want it to sound like I'm not happy with my champs. I'm very happy with my roster at the moment. Um, yeah, I only have a five star Agent Venom. <laughs> this is gonna kill me. I know it. The second I click close, I'm swiping, I'm swiping. Okay, okay, we made it, we made it. <laughs> oh man, I was like, you gotta be joking after all this. <laughs> all right, um, yeah, so this is about going to do it here. Hit into his block a bit. All right, there we go, that's it. Done with this dumb fight, oh my God. Hey Mike, I pulled Apoc and Cosmic Ghost Rider back to back. Dude, were you the person who uh, tagged me in that on Twitter? Because I saw that. 
and I threw my phone across the floor, across the room onto the floor. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. That is a sick, sick day for you. Mysterio is annoying, man. I'm glad I brought the power burn so I can like not push him to special two, just for me to push him right up to special two. And there we go. All right, so we made it towards the end of, um, <laughs> we made it towards the end of the path. We could have done that fight, no big deal. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, the point is we wanted to get some video footage for Guillotine doing Biohazard and we definitely did that. Um, all right, so we are arriving here at Kang and I'm gonna click the record button. I'm not sure how long this fight's gonna take, but people are saying that she does it easily. Uh, Merry Christmas just came, also nice hat. Thanks, dude. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna put on the lifesteal. I like lifesteal. And yeah, this guy just has like unblockable special one, picture of health, select a time stream. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, Guillotine's gonna do pretty good here. So, right off the bat, man, you know, yeah, right off the bat, she's hitting, she's hitting pretty nicely. And as long as we just don't get hit by a special one, we should be good to go. Um, you know, he's going to be regenerating probably a couple times, and that's fine. Go for the special two, build up a combo. I just really definitely don't want to push him up to um, a special two, because I don't want to have to bait out the special two. That's going to be annoying. What I should do though, in case I get clipped by that special one, which is definitely a possibility, just build up these uh, combo shield things. I can get up to four because I have one charge. So there we go. So now at this point, if we get hit by a special one, I don't have to start over and that's good, you know? So I'm going to guess that around a 300 combo is where we're gonna be able to ultimately out damage him. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But like I said, I'm very new to using guillotine. In the past, I've talked many times about how I dislike the champion. I don't think that she's the most useful um, in like practical terms. And then I took her up to rank two and I did a run of Realm of Legends, a full run. Usually you guys know I usually stop after like Winter Soldier and then like I get bored. Um, but I did an entire run where I got to all the way to the Hulk and I finished Realm of Legends with a full yellow bar with like the most minimal effort I've ever put into anything in my entire life. And from that moment on, I was like, well, uh, I kind of wish I didn't undervalue her as much as I have for the past year at this point because she's a great champion for sure. And maybe I was just bitter because I never got her. But I finally got her on Cyber Weekend. I got her from my first Nexus Crystal that I opened. And um, yeah, like this damage is nutty. This is like really, really nutty damage. And it's looking like we're definitely easily gonna be able to uh, damage this guy. Come on, there we go. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah, like one combo, he's down 10% when we're at this high of a combo. I wish that like, Abyss didn't have that stupid um, combo cap or else she'd be so good in it. One day, there's gonna be content with like ridiculous, ridiculous health pools. And there's not gonna be a combo cap or there's not gonna be a damage cap. And Guillotine and Proxima are gonna be the queens, I know it. And I'm very excited for that day. Wow, she is doing a lot of damage here, dude. Oh my God. So what did I say at 300, she was gonna start really out damaging him? That sounds about right here. Um, this this one might do it. I feel like he's probably gonna regenerate one more time. And, or maybe honestly not. We'll have to see. If he throws the special one right away, we might be able to get him with the special two. Now we're gonna save the special two right there. There we go, all right. <laughs> That is a lot of damage, dude. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh my god, yeah, dude. Oh, she is just slaying this guy, man. Ooh, baby. All right, this might be it if he throws the special one. 
All right, it's looking like one more cycle we have to do. That's all right. Wow, dude, every degen that we get is ticking for like 14,000. There's like the 14,000 burst damage there. This special too. That was enormous, bro. Wow. This should be it. Wow. Yeah. That was, it was like, it's like effortless, dude. <laughs> like she feels so smooth to play as well. So 268 hits and um, just completely flushed down the toilet there. You know, not as easy as like Warlock, I guess, um, but pretty easy, man. Pretty good stuff. So after all of that, I'm definitely very happy to have this lady up at rank two. I think she will come in useful for me. Uh, you know, eventually, uh, you know, maybe with that, uh, what's it called? That summer of pain thing, if we ever see it, if there's ever a successor to Abyss of Legends with less of a combo cap and more of like a, a damage cap, maybe she'll be really, really good for that. Who knows, man, but she's a really cool champion and I'm very glad to have her up at rank two, probably rank two, rank three sooner rather than later. But anyway, my dude, that's going to be it for this rank up and gameplay video on the live server if you enjoyed it do your boy a favor and drop a big old like comment what you think about guillotine up at rank two maybe rank three in the comment section below and subscribe if you want to see some more rank up and gameplay videos coming to you very very soon i'll be seeing you around